Good morning, guys. Fearless DJW here, aka Doug. Just coming to make a brief video for those of us who work on small powered equipment and uh, to help save you some money. Alright, so it, what the video is on is batteries, dead batteries. What we got here is a eight year old, eight, well, it's actually eight years and two month old battery. This battery was dead. It came out of that Honda in the back of my truck that was sitting at least a year, okay, outside. Now this one happens to have caps, but this also works for the ones that don't have the removable caps. Anyway, this battery, when I took it out of that tractor and uh, checked its voltage, was at 1.25 volts okay now i put the charger on and i can tell you right now this this cell right here was stone dead see how it's percolating nice now these two over here were also not very strong they're also percolating well okay what i do first of all you make sure you fill the cells all the way back up with distilled water. When I say distilled water, I mean bottled water. That's distilled water. I'm not talking about the fancy stuff. Just regular old-fashioned distilled water. You can buy it by the gallon at ShopRite for 99 cents. You make sure you fill your cells all the way back up. Right? Then you take Epsom salt. Take it. I use a spoon. And I add Epsom salt to each cell. This cell, after I added the Epsom salt, was still not going. Okay? So I added two more teaspoons of Epsom salt to that cell. Then you take yourself a regular, not a smart charger, just a regular charger, an old school charger. This one happens to be a deep cycle charger, but a regular charger will work as long as it's not a stupid smart charger because you have to be able to overcharge the battery anyway after four hours I came out here and all the cells were percolating including the one that was stone dead okay I checked it it was whole it was at 13.01 when I checked it I took the charger off I let it sit to see where it would drop to exactly and it was holding at 12.43 volts which is a good battery now that was only four hours it started to rain last night for a little while i brought the charger back in now today i'm going to charge it a full 12 hours so this way it's fully charged okay i've already done this successfully to four batteries all right, saving me a minimum of $100. This is your typical $25 battery. I have another $25 battery I saved and two more expensive ones. One that was a right around a 300 cranking amp battery and one that was a, uh, a very expensive battery, like a $60 battery that was like a uh, three uh 400 cold cranking amp and i think it was like 375 cranking amp i saved that one too now if it has that cover that's like sealed on there you can get it off all you gotta do is take a flathead screwdriver and a hammer and start splitting it off okay because one of them i had had that cover that's supposedly not removable they call those non-serviceable batteries it's bullshit. They are. Okay. I split that one off. And that battery was actually good. It was holding in the 12 volt range. Like 12.6 volts. The problem with that one was. One of the cells was exposed. The battery will not work. If the lead cells are exposed. So. I popped that cover off. I filled up the cell. So the cell was not exposed. And I also added the Epsom salt for good measure and now that battery is holding in the 13 volt range okay so this is this works i told a couple people about it they're like ah i've heard that before and it doesn't work it works i've already bought 
four batteries back from the dead, including the ones that are supposedly not serviceable. You can get them open and service them. All you got to do is after you've got them going again, put the cover back on, add a little bit of silicone, and then seal the cover back on on the sealed ones and you're good to go. I've already brought back four. I've got, I've got a whole bunch of older cores in the back that I thought were dead completely that I would never bring back. Now that I know this little trick, I got a couple others that I'm, I'm pretty sure I could bring back. Now, this trick works the best on batteries that are just starting to die, that are a little weak and just starting to die. Like I had a couple that were holding in the 11 volt range. They came back no problem. Um, ones that are like really stone dead, you might not have as good a success bringing it back. But again, this here is an eight, eight year old battery. When I checked it, it was only at 1.25 volts. This cell was completely stone dead. And I even brought this one back. And as you can see, each and every one of those cells is popping nice and good. You know, none of them are weak. They're all sh percolating nice and strong. Every cell, if you watch, that one just went. Wait, that one just went. 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 Hold on, wait for it, wait for it. Yep, there it goes. See, they're all doing what they got to do. So, there you go. That's four batteries I do not have to go out and buy. So, give this a, tr a try and save yourself some money. And uh, please, if this helps you, subscribe, comment, and like. It helps me. Alright, guys. Later.